Good morning, brothers and sisters. Blessings and peace to you all in the mighty name of our Lord, Jesus Christ, Yahusha HaMashiach. To we all give all honor, glory, and praise. Thank you for waking us up another day. Thank us for giving us another chance to be able to serve you, to be able to honor you, to be able to get things right, to be able to show your love to everyone by the way we live our lives and the way we carry out our lives in accordance to your word and to your will. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I thank you, Jesus, for waking me up today. I thank you for giving me strength. I thank you for giving me another day to get it right, even though I may not be uh, may not be feeling the best right now, a little stuffy, a little stuffy nose right now, but all glory to our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, Yahusha, the wife is a little bit under the weather. Uh, she has some bronchitis, but uh, she'll be better. We pray this in Jesus' name. I know she's already getting better. Um, it's just um, things that we have to go through, man. It's just life. That's how it is. We just got to uh, properly take care of ourselves, make sure we take our proper supplements, vitamins, you know, prayer, um, staying connected to the Word of God, and allowing the Lord Jesus Christ to work through our lives, through the Holy Spirit, trust in Him, have faith, you know, let Him guide our hearts and our minds. You know, a lot of us get caught up on things that we can't control or things that are beyond our, our, our understanding, and um, we get caught up in things that don't really benefit us um, as 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 we should stay focused on what God's path is for us and what he wants to do for us. You know, we get distracted by the circumstances in life, uh, the problems that we have, issues that we have in our lives, uh, things that are, um, they kind of slow us down in our path on doing what the will of the Father is. So regardless of whatever your situation is, regardless of whatever issues that you're having in your life, you can always turn it around, man. You can always turn it around. It doesn't matter what you go through. If you trust in the Lord Jesus Christ, abide in Him. If you trust in His Word and truly, from your heart, transform from the inside, allowing the Word, the Holy Spirit to work through you and transform you, you will be able to carry out the mission that God wants for you in your life. A lot of people are still searching, don't know what their paths are, don't know what you know how they're going to be able to maneuver through this this thing that we we live through this this uh journey that we have to call life but it's really interesting because the word of god truly speaks to us and when we look at the word of god for what it really truly is is his word he never fails he always tells us to do the right thing when you know he never tells us to do something that will lead us to a destructive path but his word always tells us to do what is righteous, you know, what is what is good, what is the pure things, what is honest. He never tells us to do something that would be detrimental to ourselves or others, even though we may not be able to see it, even though we understand his word. But when we follow his word by faith, everything works out for the good for us because we're doing the will of the Father. And remember, he would never lie to you. He will never set you up to have you fail. And that is the that is actually what uh, Satan is. Satan is exactly what the Most High is. It is exactly the opposite of what the Most High is. So Most High tells you to do the right thing regardless of how you feel. But Satan tells you do what you feel, do what's in your heart, and it'll lead you to a destructive path because he wants you to think that you, you know, because your feelings, and he, he, pay, he plays off of our logic. He plays off of our understanding and what we think is right in our flesh. He uses that to his advantage. And that's why we get caught up in the snare and the trap and always fall short. But remember, Jesus Christ would never lead us to a destruction. The Most High would never lead us to destruction. If you abide in him, he will abide in you. He, You know, we, if we stay connected to the vine, he's going to con continue to produce in us. And we're going to be able to produce good fruit you know, be able to live a life that's uh, acceptable and righteous according to the Most High Yah. So I just want to go over the scripture here real quick from Psalms 25, 4 and 5. Um, and it says, this is King David, it says, Show me your paths and teach me to follow. Guide me by your truth and instruct me. Keep You keep me safe and I will always trust you. That's what he's asking. That's what your prayer should be. 
your prayer to all it should be always to ask the Lord to give you the right understanding, to give you the right path, to give you the right um, thought process and uh, intent in your heart to go the right path, teach you to follow and guide guide you in every aspect of your lives to make sure that you're doing the right thing in the will of the Father so you can be able to help others as well. Okay, help your family be a better leader, be a better provider, be a better communicator. Um, overall aspects of your life, when you ask the Most High, when you have that relationship with God, you should be able to do that, and you will have that ability to do that no matter what circumstances you face, no matter what you've done in the past, no matter what you've gone through. If you trust and you under, and you listen to, to the Most High and you pray and ask Him to guide you through the Holy Spirit, he will guide you to truth, peace, comfort, contentment, and everything that you have in your life. You got to trust in him. You got to believe him. You got to give it all from your heart to him. And don't let anything around you, no circumstance, no situation, no manipulation, none of your, your issues that you have. Because when you grow closer to Christ, the enemy will attack you with everything around you to try to bring you down, to make you take your eyes off of Christ. But don't lose hope, have faith, and continue to endure uh, through suffering, through trials, through tribulations, like a good soldier, and continue to fight regardless of what comes in in your path. Because you remember, you have the Most High with you, and He can guide you through all aspects of your life. So this is my message for you guys today. I pray that this blesses you. You guys stay strong, stay encouraged, never give up. Continue to put the most high first, put Jesus Christ Yahushua first, and let him guide you through all your all your ways. Um, he will make sure that you produce good fruit, and you'll do well with anything that you uh, seek your heart out to do um, according to his will, according to his purpose. Let your heart be aligned up with his will, and he will elevate you. Surrender your thing, your life to Him. Give your life to Him. Make sure you honor Him by everything that you do, by what comes out of your mouth, by the way you walk, by the way you treat people, by the way you interact with everyone. Make sure it's aligned with the Word of God. And do right by everyone and continue to love everyone just like Christ loved us. So I love you guys. Blesses you and um, blesses and peace you go. You guys have a great day. I love you guys, man. Until next time. Peace.